guys, what is up? I actually got a request to do some Disc Priest videos uh, by a couple people. And I do want to kind of encourage you guys to ask me questions on anything you'd like. Uh, I do know a lot about a lot of classes and mostly all the classes and all the specs. Um, so feel free to th shoot me a question. It's just kind of what happens at high level PvP. You know, you want to counter the enemy's move before they make it. You kind of want to know what the <laughs> their moves are, right? Uh, so it's just kind of what happens. Um, but uh, I tried to do this in uh, one video. Uh, there's going to be a bunch because disc is fairly complicated, but it's like it's so easy, but there's so many different ways to play it that it makes it kind of complicated. So we'll just uh, a thing that's kind of lengthy to talk about. Um, so I'm going to cover this as quickly as I can, um, and there are going to be some additional videos if you don't have all the information. Um, there's going to be something it's just about reading, because honestly, like, <laughs> reading is amazing. Um, so let's just talk about, I guess, the spirit, the spirit of disc. That sounds good, right? The spirit of disc. All right, so... As a disc priest, there are obviously it's important for you to know all your abilities. You should have read all of these already. You should know exactly what they do, uh, and their cooldowns and all that kind of stuff. Um, but like as a disc priest, what do you do? What? How do you make this five-page book of spells into a coherent class? So uh, first thing I want to talk about that a lot of people overlook: these inner will, inner fire. This is not just for holy and disc, and this is not just for shadow. These you can change during the fight for when you need them. Um, they cost no mana. They're just whatever you need, and it's going to change the way that you play. Um, now, as a Disc Priest, let's talk a little bit about rotation and stuff like that. Um, just like it's not even rotation. Let's talk about priority. A lot of your spells um, have cooldowns, really short cooldowns. So knowing your priority is super important. Um, and I'm not going to really go into talents or glyphs or stat priority or reading or passives in this video. I'm just going to talk about disc in general. Um, so like uh, let's oh <laughs> let's talk about atonement and penance and evangelism and archangel real quick. Just couple things, I know it sounds like a lot, you just kind of group them all together because that's, that's kind of how everything works. So atonement is whenever you do holy damage, um, you heal the entire raid for 90% of the damage dealt. Um, and then let's talk about evangelism. Whenever you deal holy damage, you get a stack of evangelism, stacks five times, increases the damage done by 4% per stack, reduces the mana cost of those spells by 6% a stack. So in the end, 20% um, and 30%. What's that? That's Those are hero numbers. That's heroism. That's bloodlust. Those are huge numbers, guys. So this is really important for you to remember and keep in mind. Um, so this is super important for you to keep up the entire fight. Um, Unless you need to dump it for Archangel. So 30 second cooldown dumps all of your stacks of Evangelism uh, and increases your healing done by 5% per stack. 25% um, healing increase? Yeah, I'll take that in the 30 second cooldown. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty amazing buff. Um, so the other thing you'll notice if you're leaving through all of Disc's abilities is we don't have too many mana regenerative abilities. Um, we do have some talents and glyphs for it, but um, mainly we just need to be really careful with our mana. So, um, being like, just bear in mind the atonement and evangelism and the mana cost of these spells. Like, look at Holy Fire. But so let's talk about your DPS rotation as disc. Well, I guess before that, before anything, the most important thing for disc. This should like, if you need like the most important spell to be in the middle of your screen, you should just put penance like your penance should just be your screen like penance is the most important spell period um <laughs> it needs to be on cooldown all the time if you're healing if you're dpsing or whatever it is like disc has this great utility of being able to do like everything and more things than other classes can do i don't even, I don't even know where it is um my leap of faith isn't even on my bar because uh <laughs> like i said i don't play this tune um but um, yeah, so you have like leap of faith, void shift. You got fears. You got your crows, you know, mind control. You got all this crazy stuff, right? You have so many things to use, but it really kind of just breaks down to keeping penance on cooldown. It is so important. Um, disc has this great utility of um, being able to damage while healing, and for progression or for PVE, PVP, trying to get a kill in arena or just putting some pressure out. Um, 
just that that base ability of atonement with penance is amazing penance is your main heal and it's your main dps move um just period just straight up period um so it just needs to be on cooldown no matter what you're doing uh and if like i will say that um if you know that a burst phase is coming up then you might want to save it because it's pr it's pretty much our like since it's the reason why it needs to be on cooldown all the time is because it's amazing it's good burst healing and good burst damage for a healer um so like uh the thing the thing that makes it amazing for healing let's jump over to grace real quick um your greater hero flash your little penance um puts grace on you so let's go put a flash of light on me really quick so bam, one stack of grace, right? Yeah, it's not bad. Just ten percent, and it'll eventually get better. So let's click that off, so I can just do this right away. Now let's penance myself and watch that grace buff. One stack, two stack, three stack, bam, and divine ages, cause why not? <laughs> um, so like that's huge. If you know someone's gonna need like some healing, grace needs to be on them. Um, it needs to be on them beforehand. So like if you set up a penance and just use penance just to get the grace up. Um, you, they, like if they're about to take damage, you should probably you want to probably get one stack of grace slash penance up before they start taking damage. And you're gonna you want to get some penance healing in there, but you are gonna want like at least one stack of grace if you're able to set that up. Um, but that's not really what I'm talking about. I'm kind of like here mostly to talk about penance and your DPS rotation because it's weird as a healer. Like it's this is what makes you love or hate disc priests. Um. And I, I do love the class. I think it's really great. It's just not something for me. Um, it's just I think it's really cool, and I just love the open-endedness of it. So let's kind of get in your DPS rotation. So right now, I just want to start off with uh, penance, just right away. Now, bear in mind, I'm not going to be doing things in real time. I mean, we'll do that a little bit in a second. Um, yeah, I just kind of want to go through the motions. So um, just start off penancing, and wait for it to be over. Pop Holy Fire immediately. Um, and then, then right there you have two stacks of evangelism. You're gonna to want to get that evangelism up um, as soon as possible. Um, like in the beginning of the fight, you just want to pop your smites, like because like you see how like let's dump those stacks really quick. Um, I'm gonna penance and holy fire and be at two stacks, and I'm still gonna have some time left on penance. Um, something to mention really quick. I think it's this one. Yeah. Um, when you smite, the cooldown of your penance is reduced by 0.5 seconds. This doesn't sound like a whole lot, but it's a 9-second cooldown, so it does add up to a lot, actually. Um, so uh, I'm going to just penance, get one stack really quick, holy fire, and then I just want to immediately start um, smiting until I can get my penance back up or another stack of evangelism. And there we go, five stacks right there with the crappy gear that I have. So I have faith in you guys that you'll be able to do that. Um, so now you got your five stacks of penance or uh, evangelism, and uh, what are you really gonna do? Because uh, you don't really wanna, you just don't want a DPS right now. Right now you just wanna keep your shit up. Well, I'm gonna holy fire right now, and then there. Look at holy fire's mana cost with evangelism up, three k. Like that's amazing. It's like a druid's life bloom. So like not only is that like a nice little dot that turns into a hot because of atonement, but it's like the best way to keep your evangelism going if you're hurting for mana and you just need to use all your penances on single target heals. Um, now that being said, um, like as a disc priest in progression or for PvP getting a kill, you need to watch your damage. You really do. It's super important and it's something that people are going to rely on. Um, so <clears throat> that is something that it's a little bit harder for a healer to look, especially if you're using recount to be competitive with yourself. It's really annoying to switch, and by no means am I am I telling you to switch during a fight. <laughs> um, but I do want you to be aware of that beforehand, and maybe do this on some dummies and stuff. And obviously, you can't check your healing. Maybe do an LFR or like a B random BG or something to see how it goes. Um, but that's kind of uh, like the basis of, of disc right there. Uh, we don't have too many mana regenerative capabilities, so you want to be pretty careful with your mana. And keeping that evangelism up with holy fire is super important. Um, it's just going to help you out with that. Uh, penance is, like I said, the best cooldown that you can use, and you want to keep it on cooldown. But you don't want to use it just to keep your stacks up. That is what holy fire is for. It's instant cast. It's really cheap. And it's a little bit of, it's moderate healing. It's a healing that you won't really notice, but it's still going to be there. And it's going to help you out. And it's also not a huge problem if it's wasted. Um, 
so that, that's kind of really it um, for your DPS and like that's something that like a lot of disc priests kind of miss out on um, and that's kind of why like, that's also like the good disc priests that's why they love the spec now let's talk about everything else <laughs> at once um, I'm just your passives really quick basically um, borrowed time is what's really gonna separate um, what like good disc priests from dad bad disc priests boys from the men girls from the women all that kind of stuff uh it's just gonna make you really stand out like if you are neck and neck with this other healer this is what's gonna make you pull ahead or neck and neck with another disc priest this is what's gonna make you pull ahead um that <laughs> and lucky crits but we won't get into that um so uh borrow time whenever you cast power word shield <laughs> Uh, increases the cast time or channel time of your next priest spell within 6 seconds by 15%. So you get a 15% buff, it lasts 16 seconds. It is not spell haste. It does not increase your dots. It just increases your spell time and cast time. Uh, now I thought that would be really cool. I'd be like, oh man, I'm going to do some real damage. Because actually, if you're trying to do some damage, let's go through your damage rotation really quick. Um, obviously, Penance... On cooldown, pop a holy fire, um, and smite. Nope, no, you don't want to smite right now. If you're trying to do damage, that's your opener that you're talking about. So we already messed up. Let's reset that. Bam, penance. Holy fire, and then immediately into shadow word pain. And then you want to use your cooldowns, your last tier talent. But uh, I don't feel like incorporating that right now. That's a talent thing. Um, but yeah, then you just want to start smiting away and as much as you can obviously um so yeah like the keeping shadow word pain is going to be doing some like some really good damage it's going to be really noticeable damage um why is that really wrong <laughs> halo okay apparently it only records penance because that's what recount likes i guess uh, <laughs> um so uh like shadow word pain is a huge part of your damage um if you're trying to dps and it's super cheap uh, well, not super cheap, but pretty cheap for a dot. It's going to be on there for a while. So what you can do, like what I was trying to do initially is like, oh, man, I'm going to get some really awesome benefit out of this. I'm like, bam, power word shield, and then fat dot. But no, it doesn't take any faster, which is sad. So, yeah. Um... It's just kind of sad, but it's something to be aware of. That is going to increase a lot of things, though. Like, you can use that for a heal if someone needs burst healing or quick burst healing. You can use it for some DPS. You can use it um, for, like, penance or holy fire or whatever. You can use it for mind seer, which is um, really when you start, like, really separating yourself from other disc priests and doing some AoE damage. If you have a burst AoE phase, there's a lot of it in Seizure Orgrimmar. Or even, like, you need to start doing mind seer for damage. Um, and so, like, keep, well, here's the weird thing for disc, is you actually have damaging abilities, and then you have damage abilities that heal. Um, the only one that I kept on that doesn't heal is Mind Seer, because of borrowed time. At 10 or more targets is when you want to start Mind Searing, um, if you're just worried about damage. And if you pop Power Word Shield and get borrowed time with Mind Seer, it is going to do some crazy damage, and it's going to be awesome. You're like, <laughs> you're not going to believe it. And, like, when Mr. Pandaria first come, would come out, I was doing, like, 100k DPS as a Disc Priest in, like, whatever, like, all the blues I was in. I'm like, this is awesome. <laughs> 100k DPS on, on Trash, obviously. But still, it was kind of cool um, just to do that much damage. And now it's obviously single target damage. But back then, like, 40k DPS was, like, the norm. And 50k DPS was, like, ballers, right? The guys that were really good. Um, <laughs> so to do 100k on AoE... That was like Blade Storm on cooldown kind of thing, but anyway, so that's gonna be some really cool damage for you. And like, there's just so many things that you get to use. I just, I kind of love it. There's so many buttons. Um, so that's kind of really like the theory of Disc Priest. I just want to check my passives because honestly, uh, <laughs> if you want to learn how your class ticks, you gotta check out the passives. And man, Disc has so many, so many. Um, but I th think the only thing I didn't really touch on was stuff like this, um, which is going to change based on your talents. This, um, not really that important. Um, this is a huge cooldown, inner focus. It's amazing. Um, but casting greater heal is really expensive and like, it's just really expensive. Um, and, and like, I don't know. I don't find it to be 
I, I would not find that worth it. But it is five seconds off of that. Um, so like that is huge if you're burst healing. It's something that's going to help you out, but it's not something to really worry about or change your rotation for. So that's kind of uh, some of everything. You don't need to worry about your mastery. Um, I'll talk about some stat priority in a little bit. All right, so that's about it. See you guys.